before I forget, I want all of you to know that um, of all the people in the world and all those that have so graciously came here to speak, Dr. Seifter wanted most of all for Mr. Bob Herbert to speak during these lectures. He constantly, every single year that we call him to get this lecture going, would ask him, did you call Bob Herbert? Did you call Bob Herbert? So today we have Bob Herbert. I now like to introduce you to the Dean, Dr. Alan Spiegel. Thank you very much, Val. Well, I didn't have the privilege of getting to know Dr. Seifter, but it should be evident from the poem we just heard and from the comments of Dr. Briel about his encyclopedic knowledge of biochemistry that he stands as a marked contradiction to C.P. Snow's two cultures, the idea that science and humanities can't come together. Uh, clearly, they did uh, in this unique individual. Uh, this evening afternoon, it's uh, my privilege on behalf of the Einstein College of Medicine to introduce our speaker. We're very, very fortunate to have Mr. Bob Herbert, uh, the op-ed columnist from the New York Times. Just by way of brief biographical background, as he told us in some comments earlier, although born in Brooklyn, he moved on to New Jersey and now is back in Manhattan. He, uh, earned a Bachelor of Science degree in journalism from the State University of New York, uh, has taught journalism at Brooklyn College and Columbia University School of Journalism, actually began uh, his career as uh, a reporter in New Jersey uh, for the Newark Star-Ledger, uh, eventually rose to the editorial level there, moved on to the Daily News back uh, in New York, and uh, rose to increasingly senior positions, and then actually transitioned also from print media, what are now called the old-fashioned, hopefully not to be defunct print media, to TV, was a national correspondent for NBC, reporting on the Today Show and the NBC Nightly News. Ultimately uh, joined the New York Times as an op-ed columnist in June of 1993, writing, as we'll hear, about politics, urban affairs, social trends in a twice-weekly column. He's been the recipient of numerous awards, uh, just to mention some, the Meyer Berger Award for coverage of New York City, American Society of Newspaper Editors Award for Distinguished Newspaper Writing, and then I want to specifically mention the Ridenour Courage Prize for, quote, the fearless articulation of unpopular truths. And I suspect that may be an appropriate prelude to the lecture we're going to hear, Wounded Colossus, Bringing America Back from the Brink. Mr. Herbert. 